got Joel with the camera. Hi. We made it. Hi. Howdy. Hi. I hope you're, uh, we on, lost on the trailer uh, in New York somewhere, but yeah. we're going to make it work. We're going to drift this. It's going to be good. We're going to take power. one of the wheels off each side in the back and just pump the tire pressure up. She got the torque. She can be all right. Yeah. We're going to make it. <laughs> that was a trip for real. It was, it was good. Yeah, it was actually it was pretty good. Nice and scenic. It was uneventful, so that's nice. Yeah, that's always You good. know what's the most scenic area? is just driving from the track to here. Canada is fucking beautiful. Yeah, we're yeah. ready to move. We're yeah. about to ask Byron for jobs. Yeah. <laughs> we're coming in here. All right, it's, only, yeah. it's only in the summertime, though, because in the wintertime... Yeah. We're going to be seasonal workers. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Snowbirds. Beautiful. It's a nice color, ain't it? Not cricket. Car. <laughs> All right, Kirky, let's see how you get in there. Oh. Take your shoes off. Nice. As careful as I can be. Christ on a cracker. Stop. All right. Yeah. Hey, don't tell me what to do. They're bogging like crazy. Oh, you're right. Because we're, we're a couple thousand feet above Florida. Hi, Mike. Hello. All right, so we made it to Canada, and we went first and foremost to our boys' Vibrant performance. This is Art from That's Vibrant. Nice. He's going to show us around, show us the whole building, show the facilities, go over everything that they have here, and like kind of fill us in on the stuff that we don't use yet and haven't seen. So I'm really excited. I fabricate. That's all I do is build exhaust, intake, intercoolers, all that stuff. So I'm, this is my Graceland. Yeah, for sure. I'm very excited. So I don't know how much... Uh... Sneak peeks I can give you because we're saving it for SEMA. I don't want to give it all away, but uh, you can tell us privately. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that behind the scenes. <laughs> we'll shut um, Joel in a closet or something while you're showing us the behind the scenes footage. Yeah. Sorry, Joel. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to start this off with, uh, first of all, this is a brand new office we built two years ago, uh, right before COVID. It kind of worked out. So we set up the whole place. Amazing to, facility, man. It's yeah, awesome in here. Believe it or not, this used to be a warehouse. Um, and our owner just said at one point, listen, we're going to we're gonna expand this. We're going to go we're gonna go full power. We're going to build the vibrant line. We're going to get, everyone knows us for our top quality fabrication components. For you guys that don't know, we're basically the Home Depot of intake, exhaust, and fluid delivery components. That's right. Can confirm. Can confirm. Yeah. Love Based it. Based on all the empty bags that we have inside the shop i can definitely confirm that yeah yeah and i appreciate you guys using it i mean we always watch the videos and we were like damn they're using us again and shouting us out well, every time got good stuff yeah, you know, yeah good stuff yeah. speaks for itself so a lot of people don't know this but we're actually from the toronto area we're got our warehouse in missouri so we, we supply all our u.s customers because you guys are you know our family and uh we make sure everyone has parts available as soon as possible yeah and uh you know drift hq is the place to buy fine products <laughs> Yeah, and yes. I had absolutely no idea that you guys were actually based out of Canada. So they went and told us we were coming up here and we were going to actually see the facility and everything like that. I was ready. I was yeah. pumped. No worries, man. You're not the first. When we go to SEMA, everyone's like, wait, why do you guys sound Canadian? And that's yeah. exactly why. That's why. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so to start us off, since it's right behind us, this is kind of like our fake vibrant store. We do this basically for a media production. If uh, we want to set it up, we want to see like what the packaging, speaking of packaging, there's my designer right there. So he does all the packaging. He sets it up, makes sure it looks pretty so that when you guys sell it at a storefront, you know, so it, it's looks presentable. in charge of all the sweet boxes and how it comes right wrapped there. up and right. everything. The guy with the 22 BL. Bro, side. you're really doing the most. 150%. <laughs> like every time crazy. something comes, like, oh, okay, pull open the box. Then we slide out this big foam bubble wrap thing. <laughs> and then we slide out another one. And there it is. It's beautiful. It's all about the presentation. A to Z. Right? Amen to that. Yeah. Amen <laughs> to that, brother. I can't that. agree can't more. That. Love it. But yeah, so basically this is our facility, uh, the bullpen, all the managers get private offices. We also had a Toronto graffiti artist design this back wall here. So shout out to Duro the Third for doing that for us. I don't see any of our cars up there. Yeah, uh, you know what? We can it. So I got a real like, car dealership vibe with the, the glass offices everywhere, you know? Like. You know you gonna try and take my money? Absolutely, I know you are. Yeah, you can else. have it, take yeah. it off. I mean, when you come here, you gotta love coming into work, right? So uh, we, we made sure we did that. In the back, where you guys will film in a little bit, we're just setting up the cars right now for the show. You guys will notice that we have a full shop facility, you know, Milwaukee Tools, we, we, Miller Welders, uh, Lincoln Welders, whatever you need. We have it all set up because we film all our YouTube videos there. So if you guys aren't on it, Vibrant Performance TV, make sure you subscribe. So you guys do a lot of fabrication and stuff actually in-house? So, no, we bring in the customers. So oh. we. Oh, we awesome. have build series and we we fly in guys from California. See me I can pop out some beads real quick while I'm here. Yeah. Shit. Maybe Maybe live, live welding. Live maybe, welding with cricket. Maybe, maybe don't show them that man. Oh, They're whoa, gonna whoa. stop sending us stuff. And yeah, maybe you know that's why he always buys me a grinder every year for Christmas. That's right. Yeah, so on, on our YouTube channel, we, we feature a bunch of builds. We show how to build our products, and then we do event coverage. So uh, 
that's basically what it's for. There's a machine shop in the back. Um, and yeah, we're basically all set here to, you know, have a full blown production facility to uh, do media. We have a photo studio as well in the back for all our products that get photographed. Do so you guys produce all the products and stuff in house here as well, or no? Everything's in house. Wow, oh, sorry, awesome. manufacturing. No, manufacturing? Uh, no, we have suppliers all throughout the world. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, uh, like a lot of our, our tubing comes from, straight from Canada, uh, flanges as well. We have stuff made in Taiwan, in China, Mexico, the United States. All our filters are made in the United States. Fuel so and I, air. I have a very specific bone to pick with you. You guys need to produce. Ovalized B-bands. Yes. Please and thank you. We, we've oh, talked. We'll talk. We'll talk. I, I, I know that's I, I, I have a design concept. I've already mocked it up on the computer and how we can make this thing work. I, but I know you said it in one of the videos. Yes. Uh, it was. It was. It was. Uh, I, I've already taken a little bit further than that, and I have a design concept I will send to you. But there's a way to make this work, and it'll be awesome if we can make it work. Flawless. We'll talk. We'll talk. Yeah. We'll yeah. Talk. We we always serve our customers. That's the most important. That's if the customer is asking for it and it makes sense, we make it work. Yeah. Right. Definitely. And if. Get if rid it, of the ovalized to round to ovalized to round with the V-band if you have to like break up your pipe. No. Like your mid-pipe, you have a down pipe and then you switch to ovalized and then somehow you want to have another V-band there, you have to switch to oval, round again, then back to ovalized. So if you just have that. The, re the reason I always say that is because we have certain cars where um, the exhaust obviously has to travel around like the rear differential. So we have that one side of the differential, if the axle breaks or something like that, end up having to drop the whole exhaust on the car. So if there's a situation where it's like, I can just pop one bolt or two bolts out of a V-band clamp and then be have access to the axle or something like that, it'd be great. We'll talk, we'll make it work. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll I mean, we, we do private label here as well. So if we want to sell just that product through Drift HQ, we oh, yeah. can work on that. Okay. Now so, we're having a conversation. But guys, I gotta go finish back setting up. Yes, I appreciate sir. everyone taking the time to talk to us about Vimer. All your shit and go check it out. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. And uh, make sure you guys check us out at SEMA for all the new products that will be released this year. Absolutely. I'll give you guys a sneak peek, but we'll talk about that off camera. Right. So the Vibram party has started and we're gonna go walk around and right. check out some cars because there's some rowdy stuff. I mean, look at this. We're gonna start with this one. Literally. This is a 1J non-VVTI and an AE86 with no power steering. Titanium All intercooler the titanium piping. All the intercooler piping. You just love to see that. Got a whole uh, set terrible on it, which I appreciate. Yup, it's rowdy. There's I so mean, many cool cars here. This thing's gotta be a rocket ship. Look, shit. Jordan from New York made it. He drove no all the way. No way. Here. How many times did they get right out of gas? That's why there's a fuel jug on the roof. Ah, he's a big flex fuel guy. Don't worry about him. We got this thing. A little out of spot for, you know. 55 Bel Air. Oh yeah, look at this thing. You love to see it. How do you know it's 55? Uh, the wing on the back, the lack thereof. I'm gonna see if he's right. I appreciate this right here. This so cars is, this came is very important. So cars came tucking from factory. In 55 oh, they, they had tucking. a shallow swoop like this. In 56 they got bigger. And then in 57, they had the huge shark fins on the back. And that's how you can tell. So you like the 57 Chevys. This is a 55 Bel Air, because it has little tiny I swoops. I don't want to say anything that's incorrect, but I think this might be original paint. It looks like it's original paint. Yeah, but like, considering the car that's 70 years old. Oh, that's definitely original. Look, you can see the rust underneath the cracks. That's definitely original paint. Good for him. This is a northern, and by northern, I mean northern car. It's a very garage kit. But it is. We got wide body Hondas, we don't really care too much about that. So confirmed with the owner is indeed a 55, but it's not a Bel Air. It's not. What is it? 210. It's a what? 210. I have no idea what that is. Just a model. <laughs> that's, that's, it's what it is. That's a 210 it's a right there. Chevy in it. I have a question. Is it the original paint? Yes, original paint. Original paint. About the 55 to 56 and 57, just so everyone knows that I wasn't lying. Well, 55's got the small tail light, 56 goes to the bigger tail light, and then 57 goes to the big fin. Yeah, boy. <laughs> you gotta remember, I was alive back then. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. So, do you still think it's a small block? I gotta look at the header bolt spacing to check. Wait, wait, what is it? It's, it's in there. I don't know what it is. Wait a second. Wait a gosh darn second. Look at that, Chris. It's, it has a valley pan. Yeah. Look, look harder. It has a valley pan and not a winning. Look harder. Ball. What is it? It's an LS. At least an LS variant based platform. No, that's I, an LS. I can't, see, I can't see the casting mark on the Chris, front. Chris, that's an LS. Oh, no, I know it's an LS. I'm just telling the displacement. I mean, it can be an LS variant. An iron block isn't technically an LS. Seven. Oh, it's LS7? LS7. Full, full oh. build. 
AccuFab throttle body? Uh, it's just a Holy, Holy intake and Holy throttle body. Yeah. Okay. This so, thing moves. It's all C6 front suspension. That's awesome. Okay, I was gonna say you don't have bias tires. What? C6. C6. Yeah. Bro. All C6 front, four link in the back, nine inch. We were too busy arguing about the year. We didn't even look at anything cool on the car. So it's cloned in '56. They did what they called a dual quad with a bat wing air cleaner. Yep, those dual so, bat wing. I know about for sure. So that's what arms. I fabricated that air breather to look like a bat wing air cleaner. Very clean yeah, work. So good. because you the made car, that yourself? Yeah. Because the car is an original paint car, I tried to theme the whole car right. to where it was originally. You called right? that. You give you it a little that. I'll give you an out of oil yeah. on that one. So I did a mini tub to it, put some good tire on it. Oh, yeah, it. no, I, I love the half tuck in the back. That's beautiful. But if you, you know, in the trunk, if you look at it, it doesn't look like it's been tubbed or nothing. It looks all stock. Super clean. For so, steering and everything in it, that's awesome. Yeah, oh, so wow, look at that. It's a mill to cut that. Okay. And, you know, put that out and I powder coated it. That's beautiful. It, it's the things you walk by wow. a car and you see it and you're like, oh, that's a really clean car and then you realize the amount of time and hours and love that people actually have into these cars it's insane we appreciate it that's beautiful yeah. absolutely gorgeous thank you thank you all right so this is the number one yeah you're, <laughs> you're winning right now we're, number we're one laps, thank you thanks it's guys really hard to beat that so Look we got a uh, 30 here that is satin red super clean on some ferrari wheels which i can with some baiters in it too boy he put some baiters in it that boy living and he's got the cell phone look at him no way, you got the phone. He's living in 1986 like I a wonder boss. if it works. Holy I shit. I wonder look if it works. Look at how many flat screen little TVs he's got in there, too. You got a little... Yeah, oh! Guys. What's up? My, My friend's friend. right from New York. New York. Oh, look at the boy. The video's getting you great. Drive? Jordan, you trail welcome back. back. I know New York. What? I look like oh, you drove the whole way. I drove here. How many times did you have to use that gas? Why are you flat? Why are you flat? I don't know. No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. You've no, no, been losing weight. No, no, I'm not. We're gaining weight. I'm gaining them, boy. Was that you about to gain 160 pounds? That's what happened. Uh, how many times did you have to use that gas can on the top of your roof? I didn't run out once. I have a gas gauge. <laughs> but the gas gauge Fake is news. not one to zero. You turn around. It's quick. I go across the border, bro. My plates are my plates are my lights. It, no way. Hit it with a passport. Everyone here is hit worried. With the How am I going to get across the border? Well, they don't even look at your passport. passport. They're like, what are you doing here? Awesome oh, car vet. I get, I'm the worst. Like, everyone's like, I'm coming here for three. No, I'm like, awesome oh, car vet. How long are you staying for? I'm leaving, uh, like, Sunday at some point. And they're like, I'm the worst. My wife gets mad at me every TSA. <laughs> She's like, you can't talk to them. They're not your friend. Can't imagine. I'm why. like, what's going to happen? Oh, no, no. Uh, Problem is, we keep on finding people that we know and want to talk to, so we can't get through the cool ass cars. All right, do like it quick. That. That's cool. Uh, e That's later. cool. This is cool. That was a cow. All right. Uh, forget about this. This is a. Oh! Don't forget about this. We're going to talk about this one. Yeah, well. Damn horses, buddy. LS3. Yeah, I can hear the bald eagles right now. Symmetrical all wheel drive. Put the clip in. Symmetrical all wheel drive. So I was on YouTube. Like, before YouTube. Yeah, the list. What the list? Uh, I sucked in so much argon welding that my voice dropped like four octaves. There so you. now I can talk like this. <laughs> All TIG welded too, boy. What? Howdy. What? Look at the radium fuel cell. He's got the new radium fuel cell with the drop in. That's sick. All oh. dynamatic. Bro, too. and an accu sump and accu sump, TIG, ca TIG cage. There's too much going on. It's a bolt. He has a little battery too. It's a bolt-in cage that you can remove. That's pretty dope. Look, there's a little extensions right there that you can tie down. I'm not a big fan of bolt-in cages it's personally. Custom, it's custom, custom made, custom paid. I love bolt-in cages. You do? I, I don't. love bolt-in cages. Roll over with one. Yeah, and then I'll take the cage out and put it into my next shell. If you live through it. Yeah, hopefully. They're great for tracks. If you want to go to the track and be able to drift and do things tandem, whatnot. What you're saying is you but won't, you won't you make want me. You want to weld it in. You won't make me a bolt-in cage. Now I'll never make anybody a bolt-in cage. I did it once, and I said I'd never do it again because oh, yeah, I don't I trust it. I, I can't put my name behind it. I can't mm. put my face behind a bolt-in cage. All right. Because then you're relying on next, next. Look so at that. I pulled everything out of that Look car. Look at it. Cricket, just you and Silver. Wagon. Yeah. Right. Ooh, he's got the wood grain steering wheel too. But how about the what is this? Corona. It's Corona. Corona. This is the. It's just like the the wagon that we saw at um, Drift Week five, four, Drift Week four oh, yeah. in uh, California. Was it? 
Yeah. What was the thing? It was a Toyota, right? It was the same exact car. It was just silver like this. Okay. It was the same style and everything. They have a straight axle rear end in it. It's crazy. Probably. If you ain't got no rims, don't get no wood grain steering wheel. Shout out to Alka. Well, this is pretty cool about Canada. You can have any type of JDM car. They don't have that 25 year rule. So you can just drive around in an S15 because you're cool. Right? Same thing with R34s or JZX 120s, any of that cool stuff. Joel informed me that this is Art's car. From That's Vibrant. Art, yes. Bro. Art has the sickest car. Art. The Vibrant guy has to have the sickest car. Oh, man. Look Dude, at this. What? look at this. Cricket. No, cricket. Look, look, look. I don't, I, okay, let's look at that. He's but got cricket. The cricket. Look. They got the thing, but look at this. Come back here. Wait, keep going, keep going. Oh, the third row. The See? Rear facing. So we need to get one of these and make it into a six passenger drift car. Where you're just facing the wall? Well, you're facing backwards. So the it wall. really scares the shit out of you. And you don't know which way you're going. Yeah, the wall. Look at that. Oh yeah, they do What's the... What's weird about it? From what manufacturer? I don't know, they're square. People like doing them T30s. They look very... Different. Angry. I, I don't know. Jimmy car. Oh, uh, Jimmy Oaks? Jimmy oh, Oaks. he got a livery. That's what happened. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and there's a Z36. Okay. Let's go say hi to the boys. I need to say hi to Stevie. Oh, you got to run over there. They're probably going to come around. No, we don't have to go that far. They'll come around. They'll come to us. Okay. They come Let's to walk us. back up the hill. Right. We don't have hills in Florida, so we're not we used to this. It doesn't look you like know much. What's really cool about videos? You can teleport. Watch. Yep. Holy cow. Look at this. We got Hondas now. And we have a Saab. Yeah, That's a Saab. Is this a Saab Biggin? Look, Holy it has a saw 12 a uh, 16 valve in it. So that's look a Saab Biggin motor, I believe. A what? It, it was called the Saab Biggin. I might be pronouncing it wrong, but it was like their high horsepower, high compression motor that they offered. It's kind of like when you buy an Audi and you get like an A4 versus an S4. I mean, the Saab, Biggin would be the, the S chassis of a Saab. Didn't Saab make airplanes? They still make airplanes. They make airplane motors, not airplanes. Airplane motors. Close though. Honda. Honda. Look at that thing. Bro, he's got as much clearance to the ground as I do from my tire to my fender. That is crazy. And you see he actually drives the slow because it probably was closer. This is all cool. that, that, up. That's the down and down force. I guess so. All right, next. If it's down, I'm down. A lot of down force. Look, let's go. I already see you going towards it. He's leaving. Not even two seconds in and Cricket's going towards the E46 wagon. It's a four-seater with Hello. a cage. Hello, my friend. How are you? Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You walk and buy. Don't even oh, look at this. I wanted to save the best for last. Okay, okay. Fair oh, enough. Wagon. You saw the wagon. Yeah, right. the four-seater. Not only does it have a roll cage designed to fit four seats. as a Jay-Z, but the best part is... Yeah, hold on. It's a wagon. And we had somebody ask us in our YouTube comments, well, how would you run a rear mount radiator in a wagon? <laughs> Luckily, we have one right like here. This. Just, Just like, like this. You Wait, cut, what? No you, way. You Look cut the up. roof, you fold it down, and then you have the same kind of exit that we do <laughs> yeah, Well, that. he has a whole rear firewall and everything. And he blocks well, yeah. it up. I don't, want, I don't want people getting burnt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fabricator Man, shot. Actually, we're from the, Florida. You don't understand what we've seen. The tricky, yeah. uh, the tricky part is getting the lines all the way through. So you gotta trim, and oh, then it wow. takes okay. a violent hook just underneath the rear seat. Okay. So like, I bet nobody can label a hot ass, so it's all good. They ain't complaining. Cool. They're too busy having fun. Yeah, yeah. He's horny. Team horny. Team horny, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You didn't even cut out the, the rear seat. Wait, what the wow. Stock gas tank. Yeah, they call it stock gas tank. That's sick. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I was like, you so, so you remember out. we had this conversation, Cricket, about, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Remember we had this conversation about using stock gas tank or not? Yeah. Stock gas tank. I mean, sure. the, the bolt situation is a little questionable, but. No, it's all right. Questionable. It's all right. It passes tech. It's all that matters. It's bolted down. I'm not saying my seat. that it's bad. I'm just saying I'm probably not going to ride in the back seat of it. To get in my car is already signing their death warrant. So, I mean, it is what it is. Showing the boys the wagon. Who thinks I should turn my wagon into one of these? I really spent like 
$1,500 over Christmas on interior bits for my car, but Ruin this it. is pretty sweet. Ruin That's what it. I told her. Hey, you know what? Most of that stuff's gonna translate right over to that sedan. Huh? Yeah. He owns the boat. I like the party. That's your truck too? I'm like, that thing is fucking sick. I remember, sick. The Canada. I remember you telling me last yeah. time you were down that you had this sweet jet boat. Cause we were looking boat. at your engine on the stand and I'm like, we need to put this in a jet boat. So tell me that's your truck, bro. Yeah, dude. Bro, I want that. Hard. I where, want have you guys, where have you guys been? Where you fucking buy it Here in Canada. Yeah, in Canada. That's where have you, you guys been? been? Not in Canada, he's apparently. Not, he's not on YouTube with this thing. I don't, I don't, we don't watch YouTube. We're too busy working. I'm too busy on fun. YouTube. Yo. Right at home. Okay. Wait a second. You There's a K. a K. This is what I wanted to do with Duarte's K. I told you this like a year ago. It's on film. Rewind it. Find it. What do we want to do? I want to build one of these. And Duarte's K swap, which is sitting on the stand for the past two years. I'm like, we need to put a motor in a boat and make a turbo. How do we make a boat? We, you bend metal and you weld it. Just how we do everything else, Joel. Cardboard. Card, a lot of cardboard. K Chris is going to be pissed. I'm going to use all those <laughs> all, the all boxes. those boxes. Yeah. This thing is epic. So this is how you make yeah, a jet boat. Did you buy this? Did you buy this? Oh my god, that's how that works. Huh. I don't know anything about this. At his shop over the winter. How much would he charge for it? All unwelded. Just you can buy the kits locally here in Ottawa. It's not that local. Uh, I think they're under ten grand Canadian. Oh, never mind. Canadian. Like seven grand. Canadian. So we have Canadian. Canadian. That's, like That's like seven grand US. Grand, bro. Yeah, it's like seven K US. Yeah, I don't know how much money you think we make, but we ain't got seven grand lying around to spend on aluminum. I already have sheets of aluminum at the compound that we could just turn into this that nobody's using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Joel's with me. So we can make something. So you think we'll have a swamp jet boat? Yeah, but it's gonna be smaller than this. This is really big. I want the little tiny one. I want. No, me in the front and then you behind me filming. Oh god. In a little time like I, I am the GoPro. Jet ski hall basically. I am the GoPro. You are the GoPro. It's going to be an aluminum jet ski hall. We're going to put a little tiny case swap in there. It's going to be long. Like, can we go look be... at the truck now? Yeah, let's like, go I look at the truck. The boat and all that. Mike, show us the truck. Yeah, truck. Show, us show us the truck. The truck. Like boat? Tahoe. Sick. No. What? I had a 2015 Tahoe. I was struggling to sell it for what I wanted for. Turn this way and talk so people can hear. My buddy built this truck to advertise his paint shop. This is all paint. The stickers here are stickers, but this is all paint. He built this to advertise a paint shop. Yeah. Like not just some like random resto mod. Cool like he built this. Yeah. This is the power man. Dude, it's got. We don't look at the pre-runner. It's a trophy truck. You can hit that car. Mini trophy truck. It's a trophy truck. It's got look half it. cage. Tell me that's not a trophy truck. Yeah, it might be a trophy truck. What motor's in it? What motor's in it? Four seven V eight. Still like 47? Yeah. Wow. wow. Oh, Epic. Epic. Yo, Epic. bring this down to Florida. We gotta take it. I'm down. We got things for you to do down there. We're gonna bring my wagon in the winter so we can just so hang out all winter. And it's gonna be the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Drag this down with your wagon. You Stock go. motor. I can appreciate wow. it. Give it a little. I like it. You. This is. I don't want to be too aggressive. No, that's you know? sick. Is it three easy? Is it 3UZ? Three 3UZ? Three uh, this is... It's that other weird one, right? If this is the one with coil packs yeah. instead of a distributor. So it is a, it's a 1UZ FE, like Gen 2. So it's yeah. the same that would have came in like an SC400, kind of. Cool. Sounds good. What are we looking at? Are we looking like at how to make a trophy line? truck? They, they put a fucking uh, triangulated four legs. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is yeah. very factory. This is like a bolt-on kit. It's all bolt-on stuff. So it's deeper leafs. By, this obviously isn't bolt on, but it's just he right. made some not the oh, nicest. On it. Yeah, they're not the nicest oh, looking. Oh so we're gonna wrap this video up with our boy Mike yeah. and his sweet ass truck and jet boat. Can we go for a ride this weekend? Like somehow just drop somehow it in a pond. I gotta bring so many cars. They gotta to the have track, retention ponds at the track, right? There was, that, there was that, uh, that, that little swamp that we drove by for like 10 miles. We just put that in there and go. You can go. Hi. There's leeches in there. We're at the Vibrant Party right now. Stay tuned. The next one's going to be the jam session where everyone just goofs off and has fun and runs into each other That's without any consequences or repercussions. Yeah. Well, the repercussions are we have to fix the stuff that they break. Yeah. Same. So we'll pre we'll <laughs> prematurely break Duarte's car all day on tomorrow. I'm just going to not put fuel in it and be like, yeah, I don't know. Dude, I don't know what's going on. Like, comment, subscribe. Man.
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's the yeah? I'm waiting for yeah. 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 Joel even got one. <laughs>